Right, oh, group exercise. Um, time for some fun. Uh, okay. we've only got calling for a volunteer. If no one sticks up their hand, I'm going to choose one <laughs> at random. I can see Geordie looking at you. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Uh, just uh, stand behind the, beside the whiteboard here. Um, uh, your, your job will, will begin in just a moment. Okay. For the group exercise, what we're going to do is simulate an index. I've got a couple of SQL statements here. Uh, have a look at those. Select surname party from Prime Ministers, where surname equals Menzies. We're going to use an index on surname. And select surname uh, from Prime Ministers, where party equals AOP. I've got another index on party. Right over. Uh, I'm going to hand out to second row, uh, first and second row of the audience here. These are blocks in a table. So you guys, row one and row two on this side of the audience, you're the table, okay? And each one of you is a block in the table, okay? So channel, channel the block, okay? The channel the database block, all right? And each one of you will have a card. Jordan has the special role of he is the buffer cache. <laughs> You're not Never been called a buffer case. Never been called a buffer case before. It, it's a very responsible role. Okay, I've got uh, got index blocks uh, here as well. The index cards, but the index index cards will be in the buffer case or in the hands of the buffer case in this, <laughs> in this example. Uh, here's an example of the index block. If we have a look at the very first entry in the index block, this is an index on surname. So I've got surname Abbott. It, Abbott is going to be found on card 12 or. Uh, block 12 in the database, row 1. So first row, 12th card of, of the database. That's how indexes work. I'm not going to attempt to, uh, to replicate in this example the B tree structure of the index. I've already explained that. I assume you get it. All right, so I'm going to hand out the table blocks here. I see I've still got only five people in row 2. <laughs> All right, I've got uh, block 1, 2, Three, four, five, and six. And Karen, can you pass those down, please? Keep seven for yourself. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. Buffer cache. Buffer cache. Clear yours. All right. So I've handed out my table blocks. I've appointed another participant the buffer cache. Uh, it says here I'm going to appoint a participant the user background process. I'm going to be the user background process, okay? Most responsible role. The user background process. So when, you, when you're running a job on Oracle, there's, there's, there's a process that's running on the CPU. That's the user, user background process. It's the thing that's doing all the work, okay? And as you can see here, I'm doing all the work. <laughs> okay, so we're going to simulate an index scan for the following SQL. Select surname, comma, party from Prime Ministers where surname equals Menzies. Right home. So, <coughs> what we're going to do is come over here to uh, near my buffer cache. <laughs> right. We're going to find Menzies in the index. So, uh, uh, yep. buffer cache, could you. Um, Bang, look how quick I am. Buffer cache. Does everyone know what the buffer cache is? Apart from. The buffer cache. <laughs> <laughs> the buffer yeah, cache. Sure. <laughs> it's supposed to heckle me. <laughs> the buffer yeah. cache is an area of memory in our database. Okay, as the user background process, all right, I want everything to be. I want to read stuff from from memory. I don't want to be getting stuff from disk. Okay, so when I read a block and I'll leave it in memory. Okay, and then I can come back to it if I need it again. Right, and that's, so the buffer cache is that area of memory where database blocks are stored in case I need them again. If my buffer cache gets full, because we've only got two hands, we can't hold too much at once, right, uh, things are going to get aged out of the buffer cache. If I need that block again, I'm going to have to go back to disk to get it. Right, but I'm going to use the background process. I'm the one doing all the work. Buffer cache is just showing me stuff. Buffer cache is not talking and stealing my limelight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to regret choosing your buffer cache with a louder voice than me. Okay, so uh, the background process is going to read the index block from the buffer cache. So, buffer cache, please hold up the index block. Thank you. For, uh, for the surname index. Right, so I'm going to find Menzies in that. 
Okay. Do I show you? No, what is no, the map page two? Show us. Okay. 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 So, uh, so as the user background process, I've found that, and I know because I've read the index, I'm going to need cards six and seven. Okay, Buffer case, do you have block six and seven? Do I have block do six? Do you and have seven? block six? No, I do not. Where are we going to get them from? I think I'm going to ask a table. <laughs> We're going to get them from disk. Okay, so disk, the, the, the holder of card six in disk, can you please hold up the card? Six. Oh, there you go. So I've carried seven. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Michael, thank you. Buffer case, could you please go get card number six for me? <laughs> Look at that That's our record. I'll do that in the server. Okay, so now that I have card on six, actually, the buffer should have all the card on the background. That block is now in memory where I can, where, where I can access it. Okay, so looking at card number six, I'm looking for the Menzies because that's my SQL select blah where surname equals Menzies. There it is, I found it. It's the first row. What am I doing? I'm selecting surname party. So Menzies is a surname, UAP is a party. Anyone UAP? You know it's a story. Right, so I'm going to, I'm the user background process, so I'm going party. Menzies, UAP. Okay, this is. For the liberals. Right, so I've. I've found that. Now I also know because I looked at the index that there's that there's more to come. Okay, I need block seven buffer cache, please, from the table. Could you please get it? Do you have block seven? I do not have block seven. Could you please get it from the disk for me? Is it Oracle? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know. Buffer cache on the uh, hold block. Okay, look at that. I see uh, Menzies again in row number three. Ooh, it's been all of that time. Okay. Right, so I'm going to project onto uh, my output. Uh, Menzies, lib, okay, and now looking at the index, that's the end of, I've done my range scan from the top of Menzies to the bottom of Menzies, uh, the next one after Menzies is page, so I'm at the end of my index scan and I'm all done. How many block reads do I do? Two. Two, cool, okay, cool. So I went, I went back to disk twice. What's the most expensive bit of that operation? Other than the buffer case giving me trouble. What's the most expensive bit of the operation? Excuse me? Going to disk. Going to disk, yeah. Okay, I've done it twice. Right, so, uh, Murray, could you please progress the, the next slide for me? Right, uh, retrieved. Oh, I just did all that. Um, could you progress to the next one? Okay, full table scan. So now, same sequel, I'm going to do a full table scan. Could you please hand back block six and seven? I could do it with, with block six and seven in buffer cache, but I'd be getting an unfair advantage. Then so I'm going to reset. Okay, I'm going to reset to uh, to how I was. So surname party from prime ministers where surname equals Menzies. Murray, could you please progress to the next slide? <coughs> Righto. So this is a full table scan. No. Your indexes buffer cache are useless to me now. Okay, we're going to pretend those <coughs> don't exist because we're going to do a full table scan. Under right, so with a full table scan, I, I'm not reading the index, I'm going to start at block one of the table. Let's go block one. Table. Great. So, other case, slowly, in, not, not in Oracle record time, could you please go and get block one from the disk for me? Ah, stop! <laughs> because this is a full table scan, okay, uh, other case, by the way, uh, this read that you're doing from the disk, is a full table scan. After I get you get block one, I'm just going to keep on going. I was going to okay? say, we're so, going to do this. <laughs> so, so while you're about it, when you get block one, even though I'm not asking for it yet, I've only asked you for, for block one, could you please be a bit clever and get blocks two to six while you're about it? Okay. <laughs> okay. There's an initialization parameter in Oracle called DB file multi block read count. And when you do a full table scan of database, whatever number is in there, say it's 64 or something, that's how many blocks will be read in a full table scan. When you go to get one block, 
you will get 64 blocks into the buffer cache. Okay, buffer cache, can I please see you block number one? Menzies, not there. Block two? Menzies, no. Three? No. Four? No. Five? No. Six? Oh, look, Menzies. Uh, okay, number no, one, Menzies UAP. So, Menzies uh, UAP. Uh, block number seven? I don't have it. Oh, could you please go back to disk and get block number seven for me? Using my parameter. Using your DB file logging block read count of six. Okay, I'll let you know. Six blocks. Just please hand, hand them down. Please try and get them in order. <laughs> <laughs> you make the next bit interesting. All right, bring back. I see seven, please. Fuck uh, Beautiful Menzies Lib. Okay. Uh, Menzies Lib. Okay, fantastic. Eight, nine, nine. <laughs> yeah, ten, nine. eleven, nine. twelve, nothing, no magic there. Right, so I've done a full table scale, I've read all of those, and that, that's actually a, a, a good exercise. That's how fast stuff can be read from memory. Okay? Reading from memory and reading from disk, very, very different things. Reading from disk is slow, reading from memory, very, very fast. Okay, how many times do I go back to disk? Twice. Uh, can we progress the slide first one? <laughs> Maybe two, uh, yeah, two because I just did all that. All right. So, which one was faster? The second one. Same. I went to this twice. You have to go to the index first. Oh, I have to go to the index. But the index was already in the buffer cache. <coughs> oh. <laughs> that about the same. So the big things that we're measuring, the trips to and from disk, okay, two for both, about the same. How would it have been different with the index scan with the first one if I'm still looking for two rows, two rows of but what if there were 10,000 blocks in the table? How would that be different? You would only have to go down four rows or four, four levels or something? Okay, sorry, uh, you, you're absolutely right. The B tree itself might be a bit deeper. Well, let's say, let's say for the sake of argument, all of the, all the blocks in the, in the B tree are are in the buffer cache. But we often find that with index, our, our buffer cache is, um, uh, it, it is probably going to be more index, less table. Okay, so uh, the, the chance of finding, uh, when you want an index block, there's a much better chance of it being in the buffer cache than the table block being in the buffer cache. So you're absolutely right, the, uh, with 10,000 block table, our B tree will be deeper and you could end up, if, especially if some of those blocks are not in the buffer cache, you could end up doing more reads, you're right. But mostly speaking, much the same. Yeah, if there's two rows from the table, you've got to go back to the table twice to get those two rows. The second example, table scan, how would that be different if there were 10,000 blocks in the table? You'd have to do 1,667. You'd have to do 1,667 returns to disk. Thank you very much, John. <laughs> 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 Can you set that max extent parameter up to 10,000 in that instance and just go once? Okay, anyway. Good question. So DB file multi-block read count yes. uh, does have a maximum value and it's dependent on the operating system as uh, being the, uh, the most number of blocks that your operating system hard and hardware can efficiently return from disk in a single visit. Okay, that's not going to be 10,000. Right, um, Buffett, could you please hand those back? Try and get them in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 12 again. And Murray, could you please progress the slide? Okay, <coughs> exercise number two. We're going to do an index scan of a different index. Uh, Buffett, could you please get your second index out? Um, this one is on the party. And the sequel that we're going to, um, we're going to send right here is select surname from prop. This is where party equals ALP. Murray, could you go to the next slide, please? Righto. So we're going to find ALP in the index. Right before, when I was looking for Menzies, not so many. This time, for ALP, lots of entries in there. And I can see I'm going to have to go to card 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, twice, 9, 10, and 11. <laughs> Alright, so, so Buffer Cash, uh, could you get me uh, one number one, please? Thank you. Uh, looking for ALP, ALP, there is one there, Watson ALP. So we're projecting uh, surname, just surname, 
Watson. Okay, I'll put no others there for our bid. Could you get me uh, block number two, please, Bakesh? Well, thank you, uh, LPs. There's no one there. It's Fisher. Okay, uh, number three, please, Bakesh. Okay, see a pattern here. All right, oh, Fisher again. Okay, uh, number four, please. Whoa, 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 okay, it's going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we've got Fisher and then uh, Hughes, Hughes going away from ALP to Nationals. Oh, okay, Fisher and Fisher and three terms. Let's pop them. Fisher and uh, Hughes. Okay, do I need to keep going? Seeing a pattern here, lined up. Okay, now we've sort of gone back four times already. You can see I'm going to have to go back like 10 or 11 times. Okay, and what we're doing is we're reading one block at a time. Could you please hang on that buffer cache? That previous parameter you mentioned where um, the, the buffer cache were reading. DB file multiple <laughs> read count? Yep. Yeah. Only used for full, full scans. So full table scans and fast full index scans. What we're doing at the moment is an index range scan. Index range scans, a single block. When they go to the table, they're a single block. Okay, uh, Murray, could you press the next slide, please? And, and again. All right, so now we're going to uh, simulate a full table scan. Everyone's got their, uh, got their cards back. Next slide, please. Okay, so, <coughs> um, uh, buff cache, I'm going to need block one, but this time we're doing a full table scan. So, DB file model of read count of six, please. All right, buff cache is gone to disk once. Show them in order, please. So, ALP, we've got uh, Watson again. We've got uh, number two, second one. We've got uh, Fisher, oh, that's a surprise. Never guessed that. I'm going to guess there's another fish on the next block, please. Okay, yes, Fisher, thank you. All right, uh, and on the next one, we've got Fisher again. Oh, it's upside down, my page. That's my business. Okay, we've got uh, Fisher and Hughes. Okay, I don't need to keep going. All right, uh, so first example. First example, I went back to disk. 10 or 11 times if I had a, had a rough through to the end. Second example, I went one and I would have kept on going to say I would have gone back to disk a second time. Which one's going to be faster? The second one. Right. Murray, could you press the slide, please? Okay. I'm oh, sorry, and again, I'll keep on. Uh, I should do these as I go. All right, so which method was faster? The second one. What would happen to the first example, the index scan, if there were 10,000 table blocks? Assuming similar distribution of ALP, prices, maybe not 10,000, but lots, okay? Lots of to and from, from the disk. What would happen in the second example if there were 10,000 blocks in the table, in the full table scale example? <laughs> Which is, well, <laughs> fantastic. Okay, so, we can see that uh, the, the first one, the index scan for uh, for, for these um, these uh, uh, poorly selective index scans, they scale terribly. Okay. The second example, full table, full table scan, they scale gracefully. Okay, because of, because of my do file multiple read count. Uh, that is it for the example. Thank you. Uh, round of applause for. Oh, please.